Dave Williams, editor here with today's video, another in our Faster Class series. And yes, Faster Class is derived from the Master Class craze of late. Hence our clever derivation, Faster Class, because when you master suspension, you become faster. This Faster Class is Fork Static Sag, which is the bike under its own weight without the rider. The fork static sag is achieved slightly differently than stock, sh than stock, whew. the fork static sag is achieved slightly differently than you would with shock static sag. That was too many words. Hence this video. Now you will almost never see Dave measure fork static sag, but that doesn't mean that he isn't doing it. Just because it looks like he's not doing it, he's accounting for it in there. Here's a preview. How do we assess or measure static sag in a fork? Well, if you've got your side stand, it's really easy to do in terms of starting the process. So if you simply push against the kickstand, that's gonna fully extend the forks. And what we're gonna do is measure from the dust seal down. And that brings us to 130 millimeters are fully extended. So what we need to do now is put the bike in the sport chuck, go ahead, bounce it a couple of times so it finds its natural resting position and remeasure. So we'll put all our preload in, which is 15 turns. We'll do the same on this leg. So adding preload took away some of that static sag, in fact, half of it. Now every bike's going to be different, but it's a great data point to have in knowing is your spring very linear, is your spring progressive, or is your spring very progressive? So what does that mean? If your spring's relatively linear, a lot of that static sag will disappear simply because as you add it, add preload, the forks are going to extend. If your forks in terms of the springs inside are slightly progressive, then as with the MV, we'll lose some of that static sag. And if your forks are extremely progressive in terms of the spring and or the engineering inside isn't quite right with the uh, preload spacer and the maths for the install preload, then you may see exactly the same number. And don't be surprised by that. What we're doing at this point in time is discovery to see what we have and what it does. So if you find there's no change, then you, that would warrant further investigation. If you don't have any, there's an issue. Let's use the whiteboard to take a look at a couple things here. Let's have our stickman fork. That distance is going to be X, which is the bike under its own weight. Catch the full video at DaveMossTuning.com.